shipping is the scariest thing that you're going to face. You could literally lose all of your profit. I'm going to show you how you can figure out what you need to charge. Here's the problem when people tell you how much they charge for shipping. I live in a central location. I'm in Texas. Living in the central United States, my shipping costs are going to be very, very different than somebody in Maine or somebody in Florida. I'm going to talk about the three different types of shipping policies that you can have for your eBay listings. And I'm going to give you a little bit of the pros and cons for each one. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a tool that exists that a lot of people don't know is out there. So let's dive right in. The first one I want to talk about is free shipping. Free shipping is when it appears in the listing, you've got the cost of your item and it's not going to cost the buyer anything to have that item shipped to them. And it's very attractive to buyers and many buyers don't even compare the overall cost with shipping to one that has free shipping. The other benefit to free shipping is that the eBay search engine will favor that in search a lot of times. It's going to look for the, the free shipping ones. The first downside to free shipping is that it's not free. It's still going to cost you a lot of money to ship things. And as a new seller, a lot of times you don't have any idea how much it's going to cost you to ship something and you could miss by a lot. In fact, you could miss by enough that you would absolutely wipe out any potential profit that you had in that item. The other downside to free shipping is that if you have a store or if you accept or send out offers, you have to remember that you still have to cover the cost of shipping within your item cost. And so if you've got an item listed for 20 and you get a $10 offer and you take it and you didn't remember that, you know, shipping is going to cost you seven, you could very easily lose money on a transaction like that. We don't use a lot of free shipping. The biggest downside to free shipping is that if you get a return that isn't an item not as described and you had free shipping, you're going to end up refunding your original shipping that you paid because it was in the cost of the item. You're not obligated to refund shipping unless it's your fault or unless it's in the price of your item. Let's talk about calculated shipping. And calculated shipping is just what it sounds like. You enter the weight and dimensions of your item packaged. That's very, very important. If I'm going to sell, say, the pig back here on my shelf, I need to have that packaged up and I need to know the outer dimensions of it and I need to know the weight of it so that eBay can correctly calculate how much it's going to cost to ship. And what eBay does then is if you get a buyer who's interested in your item, it's going to calculate from your location to wherever they're at, it's going to calculate how much it's going to cost to ship something that large that weighs that much. There are pros and cons with calculated shipping, just like there were with free shipping. One of the biggest benefits of calculated shipping is if you're a new seller, you can almost completely eliminate the mistake factor. As long as you've got the package weight and dimensions correct, you're not going to take a bath on shipping the item. The downside is you have to know the exact weight and dimensions of the item packaged. So a lot of times you're having to package up items as part of the listing process. And then if you get a question, you got to unpack them. So for us, that's a downside is that you've got to know those things accurately. The other downside for us, sometimes the calculated shipping adds so much into the cost that the buyer will turn away. Even if the cost of the calculated shipping and your item is less than one with free shipping, seeing a high calculated shipping price on there will scare a lot of buyers off. But that leads us to flat rate shipping. And what that means is, is that you have an item and you have a pretty good idea what it's going to cost. If I'm going to sell a t-shirt, I know that t-shirt is going to be well under a pound. I know that it's going to go in one of my poly mailers. It's going to be a 12 by nine by three, give or take. And I know that if I charge $6.99 for that, I'm going to be within throwing distance of most of the locations that it's going to go. The cost is going to come out pretty close. 
we have enough profit in our items to cover small differences in shipping. So if I charge $6.99 for a shirt and then the, the actual cost of the shipping label plus eBay fees comes to $8.40 or something like that, I'm normally making enough on the item that that little bit of difference isn't going to impact me a great deal. But let's talk about what the benefits are of, of flat rate shipping. And then I'm going to show you how you can arrive at some prices that, that will work for you. So one of the benefits of flat rate shipping is I I'm covering either all or most of my shipping costs. So I don't have to remember to pull that out when I'm calculating whether or not I want to take an offer. One of the other benefits is, is when a customer looks at how much I'm charging for shipping, I'm normally covering just my label. I'll pay the eBay fees and things like that. And without the padding that's in calculated, my shipping is going to look a lot better most of the time than people that are using calculated shipping. And uh, not as good as free shipping, but certainly better than calculated shipping. Another benefit that we mentioned earlier with the flat rate shipping is that if I get a return that is not my fault, say that the t-shirt just didn't fit them and they want to return it, I don't have to return the original shipping cost. If it was free, I would have to return it. If it's calculated, I wouldn't have to return it. And also, if it's flat, I don't have to return that amount. If a buyer claims that an item wasn't as described, you're going to end up refunding it anyway. But we use a flat rate shipping charge because at least it gives me the option most of the time on whether or not I'm going to refund that original shipping cost. On the downside of flat rate shipping, it still shows a shipping charge. And there are some people that don't shop that way. They don't like to see a shipping charge at all. And two, it can be a little bit hard to know how much is that shipping charge going to be, especially for a new seller. I've sold so many t-shirts, I got a really good idea how much it's going to cost. But if you haven't sold a lot of t-shirts, you may not have any idea at all. So there are other things that you can include in the flat rate shipping that also make it easier. And I think it's a big benefit. If you're shipping with the post office's priority mail, a lot of those shipping supplies are free and there are some flat rate shipping supplies. We use a lot of what's called a padded flat rate envelope. And I can stuff a pair of jeans and things like that in there. And I know that as of November, 2023, that package is going to cost me $8.30 plus whatever eBay's fees are on that. So normally I can put $8.99 and I know that I'm, I'm going to be right there. It's going to cost me about that much. The medium flat rate box that eBay has as of today is going to cost me about $14 to ship. Using the post office's flat rate supplies is a real benefit when you're using a flat rate shipping model. I'll put a link in the description where you can go to the post office, set up an account and have those priority supplies sent right straight to you. And you can also pick up most of them at just about any post office anywhere. Remember those free supplies are only for priority mail. You can't take a free priority box and then cover it or stick it in a bag and use that box to protect your item and then ship it ground advantage. You don't want to do that. Our preferred shipping method for Melody and I is we will typically put ground advantage. We'll put in a flat rate depending upon how much an item weighs. Here's what I really want to show you. If you're a brand new, you need to save this website. You don't have to rush to write it down. I will put the link in my description. eBay has a calculator. And I know lots of experienced resellers that have no idea this exists. A lot of them will talk about, and I have talked about going to pirate ship or some other outside third party calculator to figure out how much it's going to cost me to ship something. eBay has a calculator. And when you look at this calculator, you're going to put in your location. You're going to put in the city where you want to send it to and your weight and your dimensions. And it's not only going to tell you how much it would cost if you walked into the post office and bought that label. It'll tell you how much it's going to cost when you ship it through eBay and you can see the discount that you're getting shipping it through eBay. It's built right into this calculator and it's so easy to use that I wanted to put this into the video so that you could see it. If you're a new, seller. 
take advantage of this page and go check for us a lot of times i'll put either alaska or hawaii and and then i can pretty much just about guarantee that i'm going to have an upper end of that price and there may be times i go in and, and eliminate um outside of the contiguous us in case i've got something super heavy that's going to kill me and i still want to use a flat rate shipping method and i may offer a different shipping method for them those are your choices we've got free which isn't free to you it only appears to be free to the buyer they're actually paying for it in the cost of the item you have calculated and calculated takes the weight and dimensions of the package that you have and it takes your location and it charges the buyer based on where they're at and it adds some padding to that too and then you've got the flat rate shipping method which is the one we use most of all all three of them have their benefits all three of them have their cons i i think it's probably the scariest thing about diving into this business because we know that once we once that cha-ching goes off i've got to send this item to somebody and i'm not quite sure how to do it and i'm going to give you just a little piece of advice and i hope you hear this because it's true you don't talk to experienced resellers who are afraid of shipping none you don't talk to any of them who are afraid of it and what that means is is that with even just a little bit of experience you're going to figure out that this doesn't have to be scary and the fear will go away the more you ship it's intimidating only because you haven't done it or you haven't done it very much and you can do this and the, and how i know that you can do this is because i can do this so that's it for this one i really appreciate you watching I'm going to see you real soon on the next one. Bye.